Well, by now, you probably feel like you have uh, heard and seen hundreds of political ads. Most of the time, the commercials are just voices over scary or happy pictures. But who are those voices and how important are they? Good question. Here's Heather Brown with a special guest. I was sitting, sweating, everyone else was eating lunch. Recognize this voice? Myself. How can you have tens of thousands of people looking for you all the time? I had to be by myself with a little smoothie because I couldn't really eat anything. Local actor Chris Carlson was Bigfoot in this anti-Eric Paulson ad. Voice work is really hard. Mm. And it's really subtle, really labor intensive. I did a 15 second spot once. It took us an hour and a half. He says some of his voiceover talent friends are partisan and will only work for one party. Hypocrite Dean Phillips. But others are more like him. We're equal opportunity storytellers. <laughs> and so, I mean, it's to a degree. People don't really realize how much thought goes into picking the right voice. Bill Hillsman produced ads for Jesse Ventura, Paul Wellstone, and many more. How many of the ads are created here in Minnesota? There might be some that are created locally, but almost everything comes out of Washington because the candidates don't really have that much say. He says consultants think carefully about tone. If you're a male running against a female candidate, you don't really want to have a big blustery may all be your voiceover. Angie Craig's companies have a long history of lawsuits. You also look for consistency. It's almost sort of a branding for the campaign. So if you can use the same voice through all the ads, it automatically signals to them that this is a Jason Lewis commercial or this is an Angie Craig commercial. Jason Lewis is all Washington now. Okay, so give me my attack ad. Yeah, so Heather Brown is out there lurking, seeing if there's a way to get into your house and scare the crap out of you. <laughs> it's working. There you go, sorry. And it works the other way, too. You're happy that you voted for her and gave her everything that she needed to win this election. I'm Heather Brown, and I approve that second message. And if you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com slash links.